Hello and welcome to Read with Grandad Orc. This time we will be reading The Boy and the Bindi by Vivek Schreyer. Have you seen my Ami's dot? It's a bright and pretty spot. Her dot comes in every hue. She likes red and sometimes blue. She peels and pastes it like a sticker, gently with her thumb and finger. Above her nose is where it goes. What is this dot? I want to know. Amy, why do you wear that dot? What's so special about that spot? It's not a dot, says my Amy. It's not a spot. It's a bindi. What's a bindi? What does it do? My bindi keeps me safe and true. How does it do that, Amy? How? Well, when I stick it on my brow, my bindi tells me where I'm from. My bindi reminds me of my mum and when she gave me my first one. I look at her bindi with this view. I too would like to be safe and true. Amy, can I have a bindi to wear? Do you have one more to spare? She smiles and reaches in her drawer. Ta-da! She says, this one is yours. She sticks it on my bare forehead. But in the mirror, I don't see red. What a surprise to discover. Yellow is my bindi's colour. As soon as it's on, I feel so calm, like all the noise around is gone. But when I'm outside, people stare. Maybe they want a bindi to wear. My friends at school all want to know. What is that dot above your nose? I do not have the words to say, but if I close my eyes and wait, my bindi turns into a star, and then my forehead turns into the sky. That's when all my fears fade out of sight. My body feels so light. Amy was so very right. So now I leave it on my face. My bindi will always have its place. When I bathe or go to bed, my bindi stays on my forehead. Not just because of the glue, or because it keeps me true, but sometimes I felt small like a dot, and sometimes ugly like a blot. But if a bindi can be more than a spot, and bring beauty where there was not, maybe I can too. Have you seen my yellow dot? It's a bindi, not a spot. Why do you wear a bindi, you say? Why is it so special, anyway? Well, my bindi is like a third eye, watching over me all the time, making sure I don't hide everything I am inside and everything that I can be. Thank you, 
Ami, Fumai, Bindi. Thank you for listening to Grandad Orc. You can hear more stories by going to the Grandad Orc channel. And if you want to hear stories read back to back, then have a look in the playlists. If you subscribe to the channel, then you'll know when a new one is ready. The books are available in most high street stores, libraries, and there are links to some online sellers in the description below if you don't have a copy. So, until next time, bye for now. <laughs>